what did it mean to you to be wanted back and to come back? Because we haven't had the chance yet to ask you about your return. Uh, I, you know, as soon as the season's over, I knew I wanted to come back. Um, you know, I, we had a great group of guys. Um, Coach Cliff was great. You know, obviously I came on, you know, a little late, but um, the competitive spirit here, the unselfishness and the willing to win is something that you always look forward to. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy to be back. It was a pretty easy decision for me. Like a lot of the guys have talked about wanting more, expecting more. That, you know, this league's about winning in the playoffs that you got to take a step now. Has that been a conversation among guys? Um, more? Yeah, I, I mean, I think... It hasn't really been much of a conversation between us, but I think you know it's something that's you know kind of everyone expects and is 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 unsaid right now. You know, I'm not clear if we were to sit down and talk about it, you know, that would definitely come up. But um, like I said, we're all just focused and, and ready for, for tomorrow, you know, mm-hmm. day one in camp, and um, you know to get this thing going. Michael, you rookie of the year in Philadelphia, some ups and downs landed here. Markel Folds. These Philadelphia lands here. How can you help him through things that he's gone through to this point? Um, you know, he's he's you know he's done an unbelievable job. You know, keeping his mental, keeping his head. You know, people writing him off. Um, you know, saying he's you know he's done or he's this and that. He's he's a bust. And the reality is, you know, the, the guy's been hurt. You know, there's nothing you can do about that. It's out of his hands. And for him to keep his mental right and to believe in himself. Um, it's great, you know. I just try to be there as you know someone who's been in the league for a little while, and um, you know, keep him, try to keep him as sharp as he can be. You know, whether it's you know getting on getting on him about you know making sure he's at every you know training session, or you know we're shooting after him in the gym every day. And, uh, we just both have a big chip on our shoulders. We both have an edge, and uh, you know we come out and we practice to prove that every day. So uh, he's great. You know he. he you know, handles all his business. He does everything he needs to do, and he's just excited to play. You know what that Philly environment is like. Uh, the spotlight was even higher on him. What were the what were the pressures on him, or what can you imagine? What do you imagine the pressures and the expectations were on him during those that year and a half? Um, I'm sure he had a great deal of pressure. Um, you know, it, it's a it's a tough place to be, um, and you know he just. You know, he did everything he was supposed to do. He kept his mind. He, you know, he, like I said, he got traded. It's out of his hands. There's nothing he can do about that. So, uh, most importantly, he just wants to play. You know, that, that's it.